Vicky from Newark wrote me asking that I protect the integrity of the mercury and air standards rule of the EPA that saves approximately 11,000 lives each year and prevents 90% of the toxic mercury and coal burning power plants from being emitted into our air. Vicki, thanks for your advocacy on this and thanks for pointing out the real difference it makes in human health and in air quality for us to continue to move forward with Clean Air Act implementation. The so-called MACT rules were initially proposed many, many years ago and have been delayed many times. I believe they were part of the 1990 Clean Air Act amendments um, and it's now 2012 and even if they are implemented on the current schedule, they won't make significant changes in, our clean, in the clean air of the United States until about 2016. So I do think that industry has been given plenty of notice, opportunity, and time to prepare for, plan, and implement investments in infrastructure that will make our air cleaner, improve public health, yet still sustain affordable energy for America's economy. Um, I did vote just this past week against an amendment to the surface transportation bill that would have gutted or delayed altogether the implementation of the so-called mercury and air standards rule. Vicki, thanks for your advocacy. I continue to look forward to working with Delawareans to make our economy stronger and our environment cleaner.